Is motivation just rah-rah? Is it a waste of time? Is it just a feel-good thing that we feel good for an hour, two hours a day, and then it just dies down? Here's the thing. One of the things that I've always struggled with, and if, if you watched my videos, is that sometimes it pains me to create motivational videos where I know people who are already motivated, they're not gonna benefit from it. They're gonna look at motivation as, oh, it's just a motivational thing, and I just want the strategy. And most of the time, myself included, we always are obsessed with the mechanics, the how, the strategy. But the truth is, mechanics, the strategy, is a low-level thing. And here's the thing, if, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you wanna become a thought leader, we gotta understand that the mechanics, that the strategy that everybody is so obsessed about is actually just a low-level thing, where, which is basically will just become a commodity if that's all we focus about. If all we focus about is the steps, is the strategy, then eventually we'll just be replaced by Google or YouTube because they'll be able to give you the same exact information. So ask yourself, why is it that thought leaders out there, what separates and differentiates them from everybody else? Think about it. All of the best-selling books of all time in the area of money, wealth, mindset, think and grow rich, rich dad, poor dad, the reason why they've sold hundreds and millions of copy is not because of strategy. The reason they've sold well and they've changed lives is because it has changed the way people look at things, their re how people look at money, how people look at relationship, their views about life, their perspective about things. That's when you create true change, transformation. But people who don't get that will always look at it as rara, as a waste of time. So the question you gotta ask yourself is this, if you wanna become a thought leader in your space, how can you create that balance between transformation, mindset, beliefs, as well as the steps, the mechanics, which of course is important. But remember, at the end of the day, true change is about the mindset, beliefs, and that's how you can create transformation.